So in today's video we will implement camera x api in java in android studio. This java implementation of camera x contains a preview use case, image capture use case and image analysis use case and the last but not the least is the video capture use case. So without any further delay let's get started. We have created a new blank project so first of all add a gradle dependencies for the camera x apis and then sync the project i will also add these dependencies in the description of the video make sure to check that out sync the project after the syncing of the project is successful we have to implement first the layout of the activity so in the layout I have created this layout in which a preview view which is the preview class in the camera x api available in the linear layout and then in the bottom we have two buttons first one is to take the picture and the second one is to start the recording let's start implement our java code before implementing the java code remember to add a permissions in the manifest we need to add four permissions the first one is the camera and the second one is the record the audio and the third and the fourth is to write to the external storage and read from the external storage after that we have to start the code implementation in java let's add the code for the buttons Add click listeners to these. Okay, now that we have implemented uh, buttons, let's start adding the code for the camera X API. So, first of all, we have to add a camera provider here. Now we have to initialize the camera provider instance. After that we have to add a camera, add a listener to the provider. Normally I create a utility function to get the executor. So in this we have to return the context compact. Whenever we start the camera, first of all, we have to unbind all the previous bindings, use case bindings. After that, we have to select the default camera, which is our back camera. So, camera selector. Camera selector use case is implemented. Now we have to implement the preview use case. Now we have to attach a surface provider to this preview. But for the surface provider, we have to get the preview view from our layout. Let's add a preview view here. Now we have an instance variable of the preview view. Now we can get the surface provider from it. Let's label it with preview use case, camera selector use case, and then after that, we have to implement the image capture use case. Image capture is equal to new image capture use case. We want this image capture variable to be available in other methods, so we will create this as instance variable of main activity. Now let's bind these use cases with the camera X.
all right so the next thing is we want to capture the photo whenever user clicks on the take picture button we will create a function here capture photo first we need to get the photos directory from a local file storage the next thing is we want to check whether this photo directory is, exists or not it doesn't exist we want to create this photo directory in our device we want to create a file name whenever the photo is taken the photo is saved with our required file name i'm just using the times current timestamp get a new file based upon that file path the next thing is we want to use our image capture use case to take the picture Our image capture use case is completed. Let's run our application at this stage. So we are seeing this a virtual image. It means that our camera X current preview use case is working well. And then you want to take a picture of this talk here so click on the take picture it says photo has been saved successfully the next thing is we want to create a video recording use case when user clicks on the start recording the button text has to be changed to the stop recording so that user will know when to stop the recording So we just uh, we are just checking that uh, whether it is a start recording or not. Now we want to record the video from our video capture use case. Create a new video capture use case here. Video capture. Suppress so this annotation. That is the risk. This is the restricted API. So we just want to add this suppress so length here. Restricted API. So our video capture use case is created. Now just we want to bind it to the life cycle of the camera provider just after the image capture add a new argument in this video capture use case okay so we now we have to start the recording here first we want to make sure that video capture is initialized successfully So next thing is we want to call the video capture start recording and that is passing our first argument that is the output video file options at this point we are saying this error the error is that it is requiring a permission so the permission is to handle the explicitly the security exception and the permission check
this is our callback for whenever user clicks on the stop recording so when the recording is stopped this callback will be executed which is on video saved so just we want to make a toast here next thing is if there is an error we want to also see that so just uh, calling that error the last thing left is when to stop the recording so if we go to our on click function here when the user clicks on the stop recording again so it will be at at this else block and now we have to stop the recording we will just call our video capture use case and that is the video capture variable and then stop the recording here also we want to suppress this restricted api annotation here our video capture use case is now completed let's run the application at this stage our application is now running click on the start recording So the video is being recorded. The next thing is we want to stop the video here. And the toast shows that video has been saved successfully. So the last use case that I want to use here is the image analysis use case, which you can use if you want to edit the camera feed so here will be our image analysis use case now creating this field variable in the main activity now we want to add this image analysis use case into this one the next thing is you may ask that where we will capture this frames when the feed is coming from the camera for this purpose we will use the image analysis analyzer callback so we just want to implement that callback right here at the top image analysis dot analyzer that is the interface and this is what is expected right here that we have to implement this analyze method right here and that in this analyze method you can do your image processing So application is just crashed. So the reason for this crash is if you check our exception here, no supported surface combination is found for the camera device. And may be attempting to bind too many use cases. But this error comes because not every device supports uh, multiple use cases so we want to make sure that the combination of these use cases is correct so let's see which use cases we are using the first one is camera selector second preview use case third image capture use case and fourth one is video capture and the last is image analysis so according to the google documentation we cannot use this image analysis use case with the video capture use case so we want to remove this video capture use case from here and let's run the application right here at this point we can see that application is now running correctly and we can now take the picture that's it for this one if you like this video a thumbs up would be great and don't forget to hit the subscribe button
Thanks for watching. See you next time.